Hello everybody. For this week's video, I'm finally going to get to a video that was requested. And that is my GoPro setup. And it is raining really, really hard. And I'm in the garage. If you're hearing that in the background, hopefully you can hear me okay. But that's what that is. First, I'm going to start off with just... Uh, listing the things that I use. So the first thing is obviously going to be my GoPro and I use a GoPro Hero 2 and it is in a waterproof case. Next thing is my helmet. If you've watched any of my videos you know that I use an open face helmet. Next thing that I have to use is my microphone. And then I also went to Amazon and bought a 15-in-1 uh, GoPro accessory kit. As I stated just a second ago, my GoPro just came in a regular waterproof case. In order to set up my microphone, I had to do a little bit of fabrication on this which means basically I just had to drill a hole where the mic port is. You can buy a skeleton case, but since I really don't plan on using this around or in water, I didn't really care if um, I took away the waterproof value. Just went ahead and drilled a hole here. And I did that for you guys, so I will insert that clip um, now so you can see exactly how I did that. So you can see that I've marked right where the mic plugs in. I'm gonna have to drill a hole right through there. Okay now I've taken the GoPro out of the case and like I said I marked the spot where the hole needs to go before I took the GoPro out. So you do not have to use a drill press for this. Um, you can just use a regular drill. I just happen to uh, prefer this. Now that I've talked about the GoPro case, I'll tell you guys about my microphone that I use. I bought a lapel mic literally from Walmart for $5. Now even though I did buy this mic from Walmart, I have to say it has worked really, really well for me. Especially with having an open face helmet, you would think that there would be uh, an issue with some wind interference but there really isn't and it picks up my voice really really well. I do find myself um, wanting to kind of yell a little bit but that's just because um, with the helmet being open I'm hearing everything. I'm hearing the wind, I'm hearing the motorcycle and just to be able to hear myself I feel like I need to yell a little bit but really doesn't bother the mic. It still picks up nice and clear. So that goes to show you, finding a mic is not a hard thing to do and it does not have to be expensive. Like this obviously uh, hooks into the mic port that we created earlier. And then what I normally do is I will take my mic, my mount is on the left side of my helmet so I want my mic to also be on the left side of my helmet so inside my helmet I don't know if you guys will be able to see but right here next to my jawline underneath my strap I usually take and I tuck my mic right into this corner right here and I tuck it down inside of there so that there is just extra protection against the wind. And I'll show you that now. Okay, now I've taken the mic and I've tucked it down inside the corner of the padding. It's down inside the padding underneath 
my chin strap and I've taken the lapel clip I've just hooked it to the back side of my chin strap you can see that and it fits so perfectly in the padding right here that there's really no chance of it sliding out so you don't really have to use the lapel clip if you don't want to personally I just go ahead and clip it on there so now I'm going to get into the accessory kit that I bought from Amazon. The main things that I use from the accessory kit are the chest harness and the helmet mount. And actually I believe I had to buy the helmet mount separately. The thing that I use the most is this chest strap. Pretty much all of my videos so far, the uh, most of the shifting video, the jump starting video, uh, the quick little ride video, that was used using the chest harness just because I, I haven't gotten comfortable with the helmet mount yet because I'm never sure if my camera is pointing in the right uh, direction or exactly where I want it but with the chest harness I know exactly where it's pointed at all times. You know, it just hooks into here and then you have a little screw that you put in there and you tighten it down. The only thing with this setup is you have all of this uh, wire from the microphone. I don't really kind of know where to put it. So I kind of just ball it up a little bit and run it through my straps. So my straps will hold down the mic wire. It's a little bit inconvenient, but it works. And then next we have the helmet mount. The one that I bought came with one sticky mount. And since I have an open face helmet, which has a vent right here, my choices are limited as to where I could put my mount. And my helmet has a retractable duckbill. So that's not really conducive to putting the GoPro on the top and the vent is not conducive to putting the GoPro in the front so I didn't really have a choice but putting it on the side which is actually okay I don't mind it so once you have your mount on here and it's really really simple wow it's really raining right now you just peel the uh, plastic off of the tape and you just stick it on there and then you'll take your mount and then you just slide it in here like that okay now I've got my helmet mount on you see I'm going to take and put my GoPro on here and it'll uh, all your mounts will come with these bolts to secure your GoPro to whatever mount that you use And you just screw those on until they're tight. Adjust your GoPro to however you want it. Like I said, I don't use this mount as much just because I'm not completely comfortable with the, the point of view yet. I gotta kinda get used to it and I don't wanna go out and shoot a video and find out that my uh, camera was pointed in the wrong direction or whatever. So once I get a little bit more comfortable with it, I will start using it more. And then you have all of this mic cord just floating around so what I've started doing is just wrapping it around the mount just to get it out of the way because if you've watched my shifting video that's when I first started using the GoPro then you will have noticed that on occasion there's a cord floating around in the screen and that is the mic cord so just take and wrap this up just somehow that it's out of the way and you could you know you could really do this however you wanted to but you could probably tuck it inside your helmet as well but 
I just wrap it up around there. All right, guys, I believe that's about it. That is how you do a GoPro helmet microphone setup for moto vlogging or just documenting your rides. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week.